Welcome back. We're on layer two. Now I've mixed up some red orange and I added just the tiniest bit of blue to dull it down because I feel like the picture um, is not super intense. Um, it's really rich right here, but I wanted it just slightly dull so it doesn't seem too like straight out of the pan. So now that I have this wet on wet um, blend in here, I'm gonna go through and just add in my darkest parts just for some texture. Okay, now I've done those pretty quickly. I'm gonna take just a wet brush and just fade away some of these edges ever so lightly. Maybe take a little bit of color in there, help blend. So I want the definition um, of the change of color. I just don't want it to be too sharp. You have this little ridge for the inside of the daffodil. So you can't really paint the ridge. You have to paint around it since it is lighter. So I have the beginning of the first fold. I'm gonna go up here and get the second fold. Let the color fade away a little bit. And now it's actually a little darker on top on this side. So I'm adding more of my color on the top part. If you want, you can go back in with some yellow and really intensify the yellow on the inside. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more yellow and go right along this upper edge. Make that really bold and let it fade away. Remember watercolor will re-dissolve if you just add some water. And if you have some sharp edges, just take some water and lightly blend away. You can always fix your mistakes with watercolor. Now we do have some detail on the inside. We're gonna let that sit for just a minute. We're gonna let it dry again. And then we're gonna go in and paint the inside. I might soften just a little bit on some edges here. You decide. 